Jesus. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I stand on behalf of myself and my family. And I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny, I tear it down tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Shabaka to labakaya. Membre tekes kadafraska labakuria dabashi. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly tonight i invoke the blood let the blood speak hallelujah hold the hands of someone else look for another partner hold the hands of someone else say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus altars of poverty altars of delay altars of failure i speak to you in the name of jesus i tear you down release my destiny release my destiny altars of poverty hallelujah We're really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We're still praying, please. We're still praying. Shalapakaya. We're still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We're still praying. We're making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny. Because of where I'm coming from. I prophesy tonight. Your hold is broken over my life. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. 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 Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years, but it looked like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Say after me in the name of Jesus every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy i call you back to my life lift your voice and pray hallelujah hallelujah You are going to call the name of your family members listen i don't care how many call it listen you are going to call them one by one and say i stand as an altar and i bring you out of this dungeon lift your voice and pray call them hallelujah 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Be serious. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. Everywhere my favor is. In the name of Jesus. I command it to my life now. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. 
I want you to pray. Listen. I want you to pray and talk to God. Tell him, Lord, I'm part of this apostolic family. The altar you have erected here must speak for me. I want my life to show it from today. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with understanding. And watch what happens to you. Pray with understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you may not realize what is happening to you. Please, I don't want you to idolize this teaching. No. It's not about religiosity. It's about proper understanding and application. So it's not just coming to lie down here. That, no, 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 no. The altar is a revelation. We are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives. Listen, because many of us here, the only time you pray is when you are together with people. Satan started attacking you. He gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life. He will never attack it at once. He can give himself a five-year plan. And be destroying you say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray I receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray hallelujah hallelujah one last prayer point and I will pray for you there are many of us the spirit of god started revealing things to you because you were meeting with him every day but something happened no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life no access to illumination you used to be you used to have projects that you and god are on you can literally say we are on a faith project but now there's nothing like that your life has become stale and barren some of you is when you started ministry this this so-called thing called ministry that's what destroyed you we are going to pray a prayer of restoration and the fire will fall upon you i like you to pray say in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say holy spirit i ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life Holy Spirit, I cry for intimacy afresh with you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Intimacy. Spirit of the living God, do not be far from me again. Pray. Pray. Let it not be that you are just a stranger. We were closer than this and something happened. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies I pray for you now I'm praying for you in the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as i speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three i command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of god will come on people one two three i command those altars now be broken be broken I command those altars be broken be broken listen lift your hands I'm challenging altars of failure listen just I'm praying for you don't pray just listen to me because I'm seeing people here failure it has nothing to do with academics it makes you fail in everything I stretch my hands may that fire anyone here who is a victim that altar is speaking i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i judge those altars now i judge those altars now i judge those altars now i judge those altars now, altars now by fire i judge those altars now
there are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it you see a job they tell you it's yours quarter to reception everything changes i don't know who belongs to that category but in the name of jesus inside and outside following online anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment right now in the name of jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of jesus i command total deliverance help them help them please total deliverance in the name of jesus christ put down your hands ladies keep your hands lifted i will tell you why i'm praying for you there are many ladies let me tell you many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady who a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but i'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening lord jesus i'm praying now that any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege shakas I'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names I decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause lungs around your body those lungs those barrenness i cause it by the god of heaven i cause it by the god of heaven hallelujah i'm seeing 11 ladies the lord is opening my eyes listen now i'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of jesus 11 people ladies especially i'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands Lord I pray whoever came into this meeting whether online offline and belongs to that category in the name of Jesus as I'm praying now I command I'm praying now the fire will fall on certain people 11 in all I see Lord let it be right now I, I break that marriage I break that spiritual marriage I break that spiritual marriage, my God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. There's one of them you should have married. But this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 hallelujah our time is gone the Lord is asking me to minister to someone here somebody comes to you in the night physically I'm not talking of vision physically you feel somebody lying down around your bed sometimes sleeping with you you are feeling it this is not guesswork this is something you know is happening wherever that person is 
right now in Jesus name I stretch my hands there is no escape in the name of Jesus whether inside or outside you are in this category now I command judgment judgment on any strange spirit judgment on any stranger judgment on any stranger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah praise the Lord I don't know but we're rounding up please just just be patient with me I'm hearing in my spirit Yoruba people Yoruba people there is there is something a deliverance that God is bringing now to Yoruba people you know how God acts as I'm speaking now everyone associated with that territory I place the word of God now in the name of Jesus let that sword of deliverance I command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance I command it now inside and outside in the name of Jesus no escape no escape for any power of darkness Every mark of this favor that is on anyone's life here you watch what happens to your life from this meeting anyone carrying any mark of this favor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation i command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm, not the physical realm. When you see me keep praying, it's because God is doing something. I command that mark to be erased from your life now. I say it again. I command that mysterious mark to be erased from your life right now. Anyone here who has any member of your family that has refused to give birth they have tried and tried and the devil would just not let them have a child either she will not take in completely or she would take in and then mysteriously lose the child or the man will not be able to get her pregnant i don't care what situation but please even if you are not the one standing for them i'm praying distance is no barrier i stretch my hands now and I decree by the altar of prayer we authorize angelic assistance to those people right now we authorize angelic assistance right now hear me it was an angel that came to assist Mary to get pregnant he showed up and said I was sent your own is to just agree and she said be it unto me and she got pregnant I declare and declare that any manifestation and encounter that they need to go through to have their child I command it to happen now in the name of Jesus let me pray finally for your finances I believe in God's people empowered there is no triumph when everything around your life is not working i want to speak because some of you are titers some of you are sowers 
some of you bless honor god's house but simply because of certain systems that manifestation can happen as laziness that manifestation can happen as disfavor everywhere in the name of jesus i decree and declare nobody here is too young to prosper don't listen to that nonsense nobody here i'm not talking of business i'm not talking of a job i'm talking of a system in the spirit where god will lift you in a way that will make you afraid i decree and declare now as i'm praying for you i'm also praying for families because there are families that need help as a matter of emergency i pray that the demon sitting on the financial destiny of anyone here sitting on the financial destiny of any family i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now i clear it out of the way right now in the name of jesus christ listen listen i've shared with you my encounter i've seen that spirit that they call mammon i've seen it i've shared it here some years ago when i was praying and all of a sudden my ceiling disappeared and all of a sudden i saw a giant creature like him as tall as a mango tree standing looking like um like 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 a dinosaur a sea creature with a tail and the tail was another living thing on its own it could detach from that creature and move and the eyes were as big as a human head two red fierce eyes and he was looking at me and he said so you think you can bring god's people into blessings and that was the end of the encounter that was it was that day i knew that wealth is spiritual it's not about what you do it's about what is backing you you can do everything to a poor there must be a spirit assisting you i call for the ministry of the holy spirit over your finances and i command extraordinary results from today i command strange results from today i command strange favors from today i command strange results from today strange encounters with destiny help us in the name of jesus christ